Hello, today we are interviewing Professor Alexander Shananin, Dean of the Controlled and Applied Mathematics Department of, Mos of the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. You came at Ethical Polytechnic as the organizer and participant of the international seminar, seminar uh, Quasi-Linear Equations and un Inverse Problems. The last edition of the seminar was held in Moscow last September. And institutions like uh, Cal Polytechnic, uh, the Eurasian uh, Associations on Inverse Problem, Moscow Institute of on Physics and Technology, or Un Université Pierre Marie Curie, uh, were or are involved in, the pro in, the, in this project. Uh, could you please tell us more about its history, its creation, uh, its main objectives, and uh, as well as about your collaboration with the Cal Polytechnic in particular? Thank you, Will. The International Seminar Quasi-Linear Equations and Inverse Problems began its work in Moscow uh, in 2009 uh, at our joint initiative uh, with uh, Gennady Markovich Henkin and Roman Gennadievich Novikov. In the subsequent years, uh, the seminar session were held in Moscow and in Paris and the Cold Polytechnic alternately. In December 2015 and in September 2016, uh, Moscow Institute of Physics and Technologies uh, hosted international conferences on the same subject that were attended by uh, specialists from various universities of Russia, France, uh, United States of America, Canada, Sweden, Estonia, Great Britain, China and other countries. In order to explain the importance of this seminar for Russian participants, uh, we first need to say a few words about its subject and uh, mathematical problems. Mathematical problems arise uh, in different applications, areas such as uh, various types of tomography, for example, acoustic tomography, elementary particle, uh, particles tomography, uh, electrical impedance tomography, or immersion tomography, traffic flow simulation, and uh, diffusion of new technologies. In medicine, molecular physics, uh, geophysics, it is often necessary to solve the so-called inverse problems. Based on given uh, responses of the system in various inputs, we need to reconstruct various uh, properties or parameters uh, of the system, uh, which happen to be inaccessible to direct observation or measurement. For example, or, uh, internal organs, uh, the balls of the earth. The parameters of the system under study often change, and it is important to track these changes in real time. In many critical cases, the existing uh, methods are inaccurate uh, and rather slow. Uh, thus, there is a need to develop efficient algorithms for solving some important inverse problems. In the theory of transport flows, for example, the question of how to adequately describe the transition of traffic flow from free driving mode to mesh still stands open. Model problem studies uh, should help to advance in understanding of which approach is the most efficient for traffic flows regulation. In mathematical economics, it is necessary to take into account technical scientific progress, wa uh, progress uh, while constructing a long-term forecast for macroeconomic parameters. The study of uh, corresponding quasi-linear equations and their differential difference analogs uh, will enable us to explain a wide range of effects, uh, for example, the presence of several technology structures. Related mathematical problems also arise in fluid dynamics uh, and other areas of physics. Thus, the subject of our seminar has important implications and is of fundamental importance for uh, mathematical modeling in general. In the second half of the 20th century, such Russian scientists as uh, Israel Moisej Gilfant, uh, Zakharov, Lavrentiev, uh, Tikhonov, Fadeev achieved uh, the leading position in this area of world science. This is uh, have rapidly developed during the last decades in some important works appeared in foreign scientific centers. So the aim of the Russian participants of this seminar was the exploration and development of these emerging results. 
Thank you very much for your very complete answer. I know that there are also student exchange programs and joint PhD programs that make part of your project. Uh, which institutions do uh, students and young scientists represent? And what academic opportunities do they have at the hosting institutions? Well, the seminar and the conferences uh, have had a big impact uh, for uh, young participants. As a rule, during in Moscow session, two reports were made each day. The first one uh, by a well-known specialist, and the second one by the young researcher, that is, by university student or graduate student. Uh, in addition to the conferences, your scientific schools were organized where young participants had the, the opportunity to present their results to well-known specialists whose articles and books they may have studied. The students at, and graduate students who took part in the seminar, in seminar or conferences uh, have different stories. The young participants of the seminar, Anna Kazekina, Mikhail Isaev, Alexey Galsov, participated in exchange programs. They defended uh, the PhD thesis in Paris at the Ecole Polytechnique, and also defended the dissertation of candidate of physical and mathematical sciences, Russian equivalent of PhD in Moscow. Now Anna Kazekina is uh, an assistant professor in uh, Paris 11 University. Mikhail Isaev is engaged in scientific research in Australia. Alexey Galtsov continues his uh, scientific research at the Ecole Polytechnique and teaches at the Paris 6 University. Another young participant of the seminar, Alexander Gasnikov, has defended the dissertation of Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences and worked in uh, Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. Not only Russian graduate students participated in exchange programs. For example, Matea Santosizaria, who defended PhD thesis at the Ecole Polytechnique in 2013, uh, had an internship in Moscow, Physical, in Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology in 2011. As concerned for institutions supporting the activity of participants of the seminar and conferences, first of all, we should mention the Ecole Polytechnique, uh, Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology, Russian Foundations for Basic Research, and Eurasian Association for Inverse Problems. Also, the project directed by uh, Gennady Markovich Henkin was part of the Federal Special uh, Purpose Program of the Ministry of Science and Education of Russian Federation. Thank you very much for your answer. And I wanted to, to talk about your department. After you, you took charge of uh, the Department of Control and Applied Mathematics of MIPT in 2002, uh, 20 new courses were introduced in the curriculum and new department uh, sections were, were open. Uh, we know that uh, the department and the school is very selective. You have quite an important number of students applying every year and the number of points they have to score uh, is, quite is quite impressive as well. As you know, at Ecole Polytechnique, uh, we have thousands of candidates uh, who apply from around the world every year. And we actually can compare our institutions in this selectivity because we have a double degree program. So uh, which advice could you give to students preparing for very selective exams uh, besides uh, just working hard? Well, uh, I work at Moscow Institute of Physics and Technologies as the dean of the Faculty of Applied Mathematics and Control, so my job involves guiding students and gra graduate students. So I always advise them uh, not to waste their time on trifles but to work on interesting, relevant and challenging tasks. Then everything else, including social success, will come. I believe that uh, studying quasi-linear equations and inverse problems offer interesting, relevant and impact problems. Thank you very much. And thank Same you very time. much for coming today. <laughs> <laughs>